Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to create animated filled spheres in PowerPoint. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created three circles here and these are for to display my service level quality score and sales conversion metrics. If I will click or I will press forward arrow key, then my first sphere will be filled which is for service level with some animation and if I will click again or press the forward key then this second sphere will be filled and similarly the last one. So this is very beautiful visualization and you can use this in your business review to display your metric performance or any other purpose. Alright friends, so let's start. I'm going to add a new slide here. Just delete this. First of all, I'm going to create some title for this slide. So I'll go to the insert shapes and I will insert a rectangle from here. Just drag this rectangle here. You can fill the background color as per your organization color. So let's say here I'm taking this color. Then you can put the title of this slide. I am going to insert word art and I am taking this word art and here I am taking let's say my slide title and simply go to the home, reduce the size, make this bold and white and move this here. Now I will create the spare shape. So I will go to the insert then I will go to the shapes and here I will go to the basic shapes and I will insert this shape which is oval and just drag this oval here. Make sure while you are dragging this oval just hold the shift key so that the ratio of height and width will remain same. It is 2.58 and 2.58. So let's say we are taking 2.6 and 2.6. Now I will fill some light color in this sphere so I will go to the format save fill and I will fill this color. Alright now I will go to the insert again and I will insert another shape so I will go to the shapes then I will go to the basic shapes and I will take this shape and just click here so that shape will be created. We will take the same height and width for this shape whatever we have taken for this one. So it is 2.6 you can see here so I will give the same height and width for this shape also just paste that shape here and similarly for width also now if I will move this shape over this oval then you can see it is looking like a single shape now click on this shape and I will pick this yellow handle and just drag this downside and now I will pick this second yellow handle and I will drag this to top side like this. Alright, now I will go to the insert again, go to the shapes and here again I will insert a oval shape, this one. And I will create a oval like this and I will keep this oval here, I will go to the shapes and then I will fill some dark color of the same theme like this blue or this dark blue or you can take this one. So let's say I am taking this dark blue. Now for the second shape this one we will fill some darker color like we can keep this blue color then we will go to the shape fill again and then go to the gradient and this time we will take this gradient from dark variations. Alright, so this is our filled sphere. You can see here it is almost filled 50 or 55 percent. Then we can go to the insert and we can insert a word art from here and we can type our text. Let's say this is 55 percent and you can move this here. Change the size, font name, whatever you want to take. Let's say I'm taking Arial, font color as white. Now we can put some shadow here. So I'll go to the insert, then I will insert a oval shape, this one, and we will create our shadow here. So just drag this oval here like this, and then right click, go to the format shapes. Here we will fill gradient fill. So we will go to the type, then we will choose here path, and in the gradient color, the first one we will choose some darker color, let's say this one. And for the second one we will choose the white which is already there. 
and we will take no line. So go to the format, shape outline, just say no outline. For this color, we can give some transparency. For the white one, we can give the 100% transparency. Just keep around 30% transparent for the first color only. And then just move this here, right click and send it to back. Alright. So our first sphere is ready. Now we can give some animation here. So I will make this group the second shape and this one. So right click and make this group. And again move this here. So we will put the entrance animation for this group. And then we will put some animation for this text. So I will go to the animation. Then I will select this group. We will put here this pipe animation and then move this here. Now we will select this text and we will put here zoom animation, this one. I will click on animation pan for the second animation, this one. Right click and start after previous. Let me put it on presentation view and then just click once or press forward key then you can see the animation similarly you can create the other ovals also according to your matrix quickly i'll show you one more oval this one so once you have created the first then simply just copy all just paste this here and move it here you just need to change the color only so select the first oval or main oval then go to the format and just fill here this color and then i will select that group and i'll select this shape only then i will fill here darker color this color. then we will give some dark variations of gradient so i'll go to the gradient and will take this variation then i will select this oval and here i will fill the dark color of same theme so we can take this color or this color also and we will remove the outline from here so we'll go to the shape outline and say no outline you can change the size according to your percentage let's say if the percentage is only 30 percent then you can slightly move it down and this side also like this and you can move this down you can change the size and here you can put your 30 percent let's say Alright friends, so this is ready and you can change the outline of the main circle. You can choose some darker outline like this. So friends, that is how you can create the filled sphere. It is very good visualization and it can make your presentation more attractive. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.